Let's add the corresponding analytical solution to this plot to see how well the Euler's method compares to the analytical solution. So let me start a new section of code at the end and let me call it analytical solution and <clears throat> I need to first create the time points at which I'm going to calculate the analytical solution. And that I can do using the lean space function. So let me test that first. Okay, so I want to create a vector going from the initial time to the final time with a specific number of points, let's say three while I'm testing it. Okay, so that gives me a vector going from initial time to final time with three points. So there's just one intermediate point. So let me copy that and paste it here. And I'll, of course, use more number of time points because I want to get a smooth curve here. So I will use 101 points, I'll semicolon. And I'll assign it to an array, which I'll call t underscore a n for analytical solution. So now this array will contain all the time points at which I'm going to calculate the analytical solution. And then the corresponding x from the analytical solution is just going to be cosine of t analytical. Okay, because the analytical solution is just cosine of t in this case. Okay, and let me see how um, the result of that. So I'll run using F5. And let me maximize my workspace here. And I see that I have T analytical, which is a row vector with 101 uh, values and x analytical is a row vector with 101 values. So that looks promising.